In this video, we're going to talk about uh, editing uh, images in Figma. So we have uh, this uh, beautiful image uh, from uh, an author on Unsplash.com, which is uh, my number one resource when it comes to finding uh, images together with uh, freepeak.com. And uh, we're going to essentially select the image and uh, click on the right hand side where the small image thumbnail is. And as you're going to see, this uh, model is going to open up and we're going to have a few different options. So starting from the very top, you can decide if you want to organize this image in a field state or if you want it to basically make it fit uh, the rectangle so or any shape really that uh, you want to add. So we're actually going to showcase this by creating a rectangle and uh, I'm simply going to use Option Alt and the Command C and basically using Option Alt Command V and this is going to essentially copy the image within the same uh, element. Now that, uh, uh, now that that is done, we can see actually these uh, changes because uh, if uh, I set it to fill, you can see that uh, it's going to fill up uh, the entire shape uh, and uh, it's uh, going to have a different effect if we set it to fit, uh, which uh, is essentially going to fit the entire image within uh, that shape. So something very important, very critical uh, to keep in mind. Now, if we set it back to fill and now we select uh, the crop element, you can see that uh, the crop uh, selection is going to enable us uh, to see the borders uh, of uh, the image since uh, it's not covering uh, up uh, the entire area. And uh, what uh, we can do is uh, we can simply hold uh, and drag uh, with the left mouse button and we can select uh, the exact area that uh, we want uh, the image to be cropped within this uh, a specific element. Now another option that uh, we have uh, and uh, actually before we do that I also want to show you that we can also resize it with the crop but if you do so you can see that this is going to distort the image so in order to fix this uh, simply hold the shift key and uh, with the shift key you can uh, basically uh, resize it uh, within uh, the original aspect ratio. Now, if we select the tile, you can see that uh, you can create a tile effect. And this uh, might not be the best uh, uh, use case for this specific image, but there's going to be situations where you want to have uh, an image repeating. Maybe it's going to be a pattern, uh, which is very common on uh, digital designs on the web or social media. So definitely something that you want to keep in mind is this uh, tile option. And you can set the percentage and the more you increase the percentage, the more it's going to affect the size of the image and the less that you make this percentage, you can see that we're creating smaller and smaller tiles, which are going to repeat the image even more. So we're going to go back to the original one, which is simply the fill. And uh, we're going to explore a few different options that uh, we still have when it comes to the image. The first one being is uh, you can rotate the image uh, by 90% or 90 degrees increments by clicking on this button right here. You can also decide to change the image by clicking on choose image. And if I select another image, you can see that it's going to essentially substitute the current image. Now we're going to go back uh, by using command Z in order to undo this action. And uh, here are a few different options which uh, you might be already familiar since they're quite common these days throughout all sorts of different softwares and apps. Uh, but you can adjust uh, the exposure of uh, the image. Uh, you can also adjust the contrast levels, the saturation, which is the amount of colors or lack of colors that you want within the image and uh, also the temperature and similarly also the tint. So if you want a different temperature or tint, you can do that from here. Uh, you can also decide to just uh, uh, increase uh, or decrease uh, <clears throat> the highlights within this image uh, as well as the shadows. Now, 
Although this is a great uh, starting point for editing images, there is a better solution that you can use completely for free within Figma, which we're going to show in a future video, which uh, spoiler is going to be using the Photopea plugin, which uh, essentially enables you to have uh, Photoshop or as close of a version of Photoshop as you can imagine uh, within the Figma ecosystem entirely for free within uh, uh, the software. So really excited about showing you that. But that being said, when it comes to basic uh, image editing, uh, you can easily do that uh, directly from here. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the very next one.